Well, the fight is on again to keep people safe, trying to cross what residents say is a dangerous road in Edgewater, New Jersey. We brought this story to you last year, and now after another crash, residents still want answers. CBSN New York's Cindy Shu has more. At the busy intersection of River Road and Garden Place, the crosswalk is now closed and orange cones are up. After this accident three weeks ago, when police say the driver of a black SUV slammed into two poles with safety signs that were installed to make the dangerous intersection safer. Now, more than a year ago, we started talking to angry residents fighting to get a traffic light here because cars kept flying through the crosswalk as pedestrians tried to get across. The closest traffic light is about a third of a mile down the road, which is tough for the elderly and disabled. Well, four months ago, instead of a traffic light, they got safety signs and flashing yellow lights. That's until the SUV took those down. As you can see, it didn't work. It's not working. How long is it going to take for them to fix this now? Carol Mascari got hit by a car trying to cross the road just a few months ago and spent weeks in intensive care. I had 11 broken ribs, a broken ankle, a broken clavicle. She's still recovering and says what's really needed is a traffic light where cars would have to actually stop. So many people have gotten hit here, kids, older people, and they won't do anything. I don't know. I don't understand it, really. I went to Borough Hall to talk to Borough Administrator Gregory Franz. He wasn't at his office, but spoke to us by phone. How many people have to be hit before they can get a traffic It has nothing to do with pedestrians being hit. Franz says it has to do with other factors, such as sight distance, the curve in the road, and speed. And after a traffic study, he says the crossing didn't merit a traffic light. What do you say to residents who say it's just putting their lives in danger? Walk the third of a mile to the signalized intersection. Carol Mascari and other residents say that's not good enough and plan to keep fighting. In Edgewater, New Jersey, Cindy Shue, CBSN, New York.